What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. In this video, I will be tacking out a rifle that was sent to me by Davidson Defense, the Journeyman. So let's get into it. So here it is, this is by Davidson Defense. Disclaimer, they did send out this rifle to review on the YouTube channel very soon. I will be making that video, bringing it out to the range, letting you know what I think and how it runs, how it feels, if you should get it. And the thing about this, it's considered a budget rifle, but nothing about this rifle is budget. And I'm pretty pumped to show you guys all that in that video. And that's why I'm making this video. I figured if I'm gonna review this rifle, I want to actually review it, how I would run it uh, on a patrol or at the range. So I got all this other gear to tack it out. So yeah, let's do it. I wanna make sure it looks good with an FDE uh, mag. So instead of using the black one, let's try to run the mag pull. This is the M4 Gen 3 mags with the window. I personally love the the Gen 2s only because they seem a bit smaller and thinner and so that's why I like the Gen 2s but the Gen 3s are cool yeah we'll, we'll run and we'll see what that's like okay let's see yeah I mean that doesn't look too bad right Here's with the black. Yeah, let's run it. And because, well, I'm gonna collapse that for now. Since I did get the FDE mags, I got this hand stop. It's by Strike Industries. I've heard some really good things about this hand stop. I did get it in the FDE color and in the black. So let's, uh, let's see how this runs. I mean, so far, I can tell from the uh, rifle already. I do like how it handles. It takes the magazine really well. So that's a plus. All right. Let's, let's put our magazines over here. I got three. Because if I'm going to run them, why not run three, right? It also fits on my plate carrier that much easier. And I like having three. And of course, you can't just get the mag. I also got this uh, P-Mag Gen 3 Ranger plate. So... Easy enough, I hope. Uh, I don't know, we'll see if it works. Oh, I actually, I do like that. I, I like the uh, FDE color with the black striker plate. I'm okay with that. Let's do it. Let's do it to all three. What happens? <laughs> All right. There's two. There we go. The FDE color with the black striker plates. Big fan. The first thing I'm gonna do is put this Hollow Sun F10 uh, on here. And this is the uh, F10C. And this is the green dot. For those of you who want to know, you can get it in the red dot. It's a little bit cheaper by like 30 bucks, but I'm a big fan of the green dot, which is why I got it in the green dot on my patrol rifle back here. And all you do there, unhook this little latch, uh, unhook it there. And then let's see here. I'm gonna do this. Just so I can have something to stand it up on. So once you clip it on there, that thing is not moving. It doesn't wiggle, which is nice. And it does co-witness with the stock sights really well. 
Hmm. I may move it up just a tad bit. I think I moved it up uh, just back a little bit. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave it right there for now, but so far, like the magazine, got the sight on here. Okay, what's next? I, th I think I'm gonna go with the the FDE color hand stop. Now for me, let's see. I wanna do it like in a comfortable position. So I feel like up here may be too much, may not be enough. I feel like right up here would be the money, the money. Angle hand stop by Striker Industries. I think I like it up here. I may change that. It might be a little too forward, but for now, for now, I feel like it's it's okay placement. So we'll leave that there. I also got these rail covers, of course, an FDE, just to see how they would uh, look. But these rail covers are going to help with the overall grip of my uh, my support hand up here. So instead of reaching over, you know, to the M lock and kind of getting scraped up, I mean, I won't just because it's really smooth, but if I were to, for some reason, hopefully that rail guard will come in handy. Okay, so all you do to install this, it's pretty simple. So what you want to do is take your base plate, you place it flat on your M lock, and then you take your locking tab, you place it on top of that, and you just simply push on it. You push on it and well, you press and you press on it. Once you really press on it, it's gonna be flush with the base plate that you just put on. And now I'm gonna do a few on the left side, a few on the right side, and see how it feels. I think I might just do three to start. And I might do four. So this is what it looks like when I have uh, just a few on there. I got four, but that's basically the uh, the rail system. And it's a good thing I got six of these, or sorry, it's a good thing I got two sets. So a total of 12. There's six in each set. And there it is, I have the M-Lock rail covers on each side. I think it looks, it looks okay. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I do have a cloud defensive light coming in, which I'll mount onto here. And basically, that is about it. So I can't wait to go test this out on the range, show you guys what this 500, I think it's 500 bucks now, originally 900, but this budget AR and what it can do for you on the range or in any kind of tactical environment that you find yourself in. So with that being said, guys, appreciate you watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. I like the feel of that. I like the feel of it so much. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot.